You know, I just got to say something before we start the main topic of this video. Last year, I was trying to add some like funny news segments to my normal routine, and I was looking for like crazy weird news to cover. One such story that I found last year was about this foam erupting from multiple streets in China. Well, I, you know, I found some stories like that few and far between, but there wasn't too, too many to make it a regular thing. Fast forward to 2020, and I realize now, thinking about this, there's so much weird news in 2020, and I don't even have to go out of my way to find it. It's just the normal news has become so bizarre that I guess that's the timeline that we're in right now. That's the arc we're in. So here's the news, and thank you, Shansi, for the tag. She says, I don't know how to contact Hero Hey. Well, no, you, you, you certainly did. You did a good job. Don't worry about it. But the small bit seems to be up his alley. Basically, some Chinese government supporter haunting Fate Stay Night Riders voice actress Yu Asakawa for liking a possibly anti-China tweet or message. And there's the tweet from Yu Asakawa. We'll take a look at that next. But first, Shantz, uh, Shantz, excuse me, also says, Of course, like with most Japanese people, Yusan didn't really care much and moved on because she supports freedom of speech and respects anyone's political viewpoints. So yes, it wasn't like a big thing. But this is certainly odd, especially when you take a look at the account that made the tweet at her. I'll show you all that right now. Yu had just finished her Twitch live stream and was thanking her viewers more or less in the number of tweets right here. And then this dude responds to those tweets and says, Miss Yu Asikawa, I'm a big fan of you. The reason I edit this message for you is that I saw you liked this person's tweet. I'm Chinese in our eyes. This person is a very, very bad person. He has been undermining China's unity. So this tweet contained polit politically sensitive information. This is a very bizarre thing to receive. I mean, this guy's like policing the internet almost for China or something. Apparently, you liked a tweet from Tsai Ing-wen, a Taiwanese politician. I don't know what the tweet said. I have no idea anything about that. However, it was likely referring to the recent passing of Li Tang Hui, a Taiwanese politician and economist who was highly regarded as the first popularly elected president transforming Taiwan into a democracy. For example, IB Times wrote that he was credited with paving the way for Taiwan to become a modern, free society after decades of one-party dictatorship and became a champion of the island's bid to be treated as a sovereign state internationally. Now, I am no expert on Taiwan-China relations. However, I think you can pretty clearly understand why some in China apparently take umbrage with this former president of Taiwan. But going back to those tweets, once more, that person was uh, saying how wrong it was for you to be liking these tweets because it's uh, sensitive to China, <laughs> more or less. And you says, I've never mentioned anything about political things. Even if I like some tweets, that doesn't always mean I support that tweet. I sometimes like them to study English. Sorry to say this, but I follow who I follow. I give likes to what I like. She added in a second tweet, so that's what you think. I respect that I don't criticize your faith, whoever you support. I hope you think the same way. Well, you can hope that, but judging by their actions and what they wrote here, I don't think that they really do. After you made those two tweets, the person from China then responded and said, I'm so glad that you replied to me in the midst of pressing affairs. All I want to say is, your fans spread all over the world. We cannot please everyone. But as a public figure, you can choose to avoid political issue. I hope you can getting more popular. Now, I can totally understand not wanting someone who is involved in entertainment making a lot of political tweets on their Twitter. I totally understand that. But that doesn't seem to be the case here. I took a look at Yu's Twitter. I went back to the last three months, and I didn't see a single political tweet, to be honest. Now, a lot of them are in Japanese, but a lot of her tweets have images. And it seems like most of what she talks about is simply stuff going on in Japan, like daily life, showing where she's eating and things like that. Or talking about anime-related stuff, or talking about her Twitch streams and gaming. I don't really see any political things. So this person, you know, went to her likes and saw it from her likes or something. So a very bizarre situation, but it does get a little stranger even. When we go to that person's Twitter profile, it seems that they don't have much engagement at all. As a matter of fact, most of their engagement is what we just covered right now. So why are they on Twitter? Are they looking at certain people and what they like so they can call them out is that the only reason why they're on twitter because this person only has three tweets on their entire twitter account two are the ones i have already shown you and here's the third one this person said mine and then he said yours back on august 31st 2019 
and that's literally it sort of reminds me of that my hero academia situation from a number of months ago when all for one's doctor's name was revealed and some people in china took umbrage with that name when that was going on a japanese pal of mine reached out to me and told me how china does actually apparently have people go to social media to make very specific tweets that are going to prop china up or make you know, other people that are against China look bad. This was a lot more complicated than I'm explaining right now. It's just that this was like four months ago and I don't remember the entire conversation, but it reminded me of that. And maybe I'll look into that some more now. Also, of course, not everyone in China is like this. There are a lot of people in China and I'm sure plenty of them don't like what's going on there either. Just wanted to make that clarification at the end. And of course, thank you all for tuning in. Catch you in the next one.